welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here and welcome back to Dawn and Julia Create. So this is part two. So if you remember, we created embellishments and we had to send them to each other. So this was my challenge. Um, no, excuse my fingers. I've been colouring in with my Copic markers and for some reason I can't get it off. So Julia has sent mine. Now I'm sort of regretting what I sent because I hadn't seen what Julia had made. Um at all <laughs> um yeah until um yeah when i when i thought up the challenge so i have a feeling that she's gonna have to put me on the naughty stuff i'm hoping she won't but i have a feeling oh isn't that gorgeous um yeah that she might oh i'm so glad she made me a few extra <laughs> so i have in my hand the gorgeous gorgeous um embellishments that our gorgeous Juliet has created oh that's all one that is super cool um so yeah so these are the embellishments and then here is our card now inside the card we were to put an inspirational quote something to make us smile um and we didn't say anything on camera but I'm going to show you what she's done isn't this lovely so she's put when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars isn't that lovely oh, i love that so that's definitely going to go in what we are about to make and yes it did put a smile on my face so yeah um she has left the card blank now this is the challenge so i have all the bits that we have left from making the embellishments so what we are to do is to make a very basic journal so nothing fancy, just fold up some sheets and put them in. Um, using the embellishments, um, we are to create two journaling cards um, and we are to decorate the cover. Um, we can use white gesso, a teaser gouache paints, um, a black pen and some souffle. Just turn this over because I have it in front of me of what we have to do. Um, for like yes yeah, some souffle to add some sparkle now in the journal we are to create two pockets for the journaling cards to go in and to add an envelope in there somewhere for the handmade card to pop in i don't think i need to sort of tell you that i'm going to struggle with popping the card in i love the card i think it's absolutely beautiful however <laughs> It is very big so this is where I'm gonna end up being on the naughty step because I, I've been thinking about it for a few days and I couldn't sort of I, I didn't know how to do it so I'm hoping Julia lets me off and let, it gives me this one I mean I didn't tell her because I didn't know uh, what the next challenge was um, so yeah what I th thought I would do is actually make the card the cover of my journal so that's what I'm going to do um, and I'm hoping Juliet doesn't mind however I am going to put in, get an envelope and I'm going to pop this into the envelope so I am sort of still doing the envelope bit um, it's just the card won't go in it but my inspirational quote and my um, you know my happiness quote shall we call it uh, will go in so I'm hoping we can get away with that so this is going to be my cover and what I will probably do because we are to decorate it um, I don't want to do too much to it because it's absolutely beautiful as it is but I am going to add a little bit of sparkle using my souffles and I know Julia won't mind and then I was thinking maybe adding in one of just one of our um, gorgeous embellishments somewhere <laughs> so yeah oh, i love that hello beautiful i might oh do you know i might just have that there um so yeah so that's the, that's my plan so what i'm going to do because the card is a large card i thought what i could do let me just get everything out because i have literally kept everything um and i did tell julia to keep the pack because i thought it'd be quite nice to sort of use this whole pack up doing um yeah some fun bits so um i'm not going to use the scrappy bits these bits we'll use uh to decorate up the um the journaling cards so we can do our bases and things um so what i'm going to do let's <laughs> i should have really sorted all this before i came on camera but never mind right there we go um so yeah because the journal is as it is um, and because it's going to be this size so this card base is um, it's just under eight inches so what I thought I would do 
is we would fold a piece of paper so I'm just going to use this I hate measuring and Julie I know Julie is the same so this is going to be my template and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold a load of pieces like this and then to make the bits longer I'm then going to stick on some of the card and then cut it down to, to create my 8x8. Now I've never had an 8x8 journal so I'm actually quite looking forward to it so I'm sort of quite glad that Julia <laughs> did what she did and I will trim it down but yeah how nice is that going to be? So um, that is what we're going to do so um, what I'll do because um, I don't know if you want to sort of see me uh, do all of the folding. I don't know if you can hear that, but Lady's behind me and she's asleep and she's snoring away. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but yeah, she's snoring away. So yeah, um, they don't have to be spot on because, like I say, I will trim these down. Um, but all the full sheets that I have left, um, I am going to do this. And then all of the sheets that I've sort of already cut into, those ones um, I will use to make my, um, to, yeah, to make my pages bigger so that we have them for other channels just. Because what I thought was, Julia and I made a journal um, a few, Don and Julia creates ago. Um, and Julie set a challenge for us to do something in it and I couldn't find it anywhere like I literally looked all over my room and I couldn't find it and guess what I found the other day I actually found that journal as just after I'd sent off to make um, this journal so Julia I know that you'll be watching this uh, just to let you know I have found that journal so we now have two journals in which we can set challenges in so um so if you'd like to sort of play along with those and um, create um, I'm going to use this page as well because it's pointless wasting um, yeah so if you'd like to join with us make yourself just a very basic junk journal and um, every now and again we're going to set challenges in those journals so yeah so Julia I think will be happy that I have found it I'm going to do the front cover as well um, yeah and then um, what I'll do is I'll make up the pages with you um, on camera and then, well actually I suppose I could do the full bit, um, but then I, I'm wary of, yeah, time, right, anyway, so this is what I've got, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six lots of pages within our journal. So let me move my bits out of the way because obviously I don't want them to um, spoil. Um, what I need to do is I need to grab an envelope out of my stash because the envelope is going to fit in um, our inspirational quote. So let me do that. I'm hoping it'll fit in one of these ones. And yes, it will. So um, this envelope will be going in. I'm just going to quickly have a sip of tea. My um, my mouth's very dry, but it is early morning. Um, I woke up at half four this morning and couldn't roll over and get back to sleep. So I thought, you know what, I'm going downstairs and I'm going to go and play. So that's what I'm, I've done. Right, okay, so as you can see, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this onto there. So let me grab some glue. Um, let me use my 13 ounce glue. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bead of glue down the edge of here. And then I'm going to pop a bead of glue down the edge of here. And that ensures that both of my edges are going to be adhered so just a little bit of the way in and then I'm going to just stick that down and line it up the best I can like that okay and then using my scissors um, we're just going to 
cut it across it so there we go so even though the, we only had a four pages i have managed to create full pages just by adding that extra on and as it's a junk journal then you know it does not matter at all so i think that is a fab i am really really looking forward to actually seeing this one um finished i think it's gonna look amazing um let's have a look at these this one oh this one will fit so i haven't folded that over very well so let's actually fold that so it's straight okay and then i am just going to pop the glue along here because this one's going to need cutting on three sides so I'm hoping Julie enjoys this challenge. I just thought it's something a little bit different. And um, I know that we've done it before where we've both worked with um, each other's embellishments. And I thought, you know what, I think it would be quite fun um, to do again. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right, okay, so let's cut around this one. Let's all cut that bit. Okay, oh, like that. So again, oh, do you know what? I love how I've matched them up without even really paying much attention to that. So there's our our next um like little page. Now we've got this one. So let's see what else I've got because we are, would you believe it, running slightly short. So um, I think that one will be fine. There. And again, I haven't folded it very well. Thankfully, this is a junk journal, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I think this is my daughter coming downstairs. So she's at a college today. Right, so let's glue that down. Right, so I'm going to continue doing this all the way um, and getting all the pages done. And once I've done that, I will, um, I'll come back. Right, okay, so I'm back. Um, I've just measured it up with my cover so I just need to cut all of that section off and then I just need to straighten up this bit um, but this is what I've got so um, we've got plenty of pages that's my envelope um, so I think this is going to be lovely um, for when we do our different challenges within um, I do need to create two pockets in which to pop in um, the uh, journaling cards so I'm gonna have to sort of think about where I'm going to put them but yeah I'm loving this I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous size um so thank you Julia <laughs> so I'm really really chuffed to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my craft knife and I'm gonna grab my ruler um so be careful please when doing this because it is sharp um, but I'm just going to cut these down so this is going to be so that it fits within my um, oh what do you call it my cover so that's all I'm doing this for so I tend just to rip them out of the way so I'm, I'm wanting all of these cut down make sure that we're going through them all I think we're at the glass yeah and then it's just this little end bit that I need to sort of get them all cut through okay so oh I still got this this last piece oh that's not what I wanted to do I've just gone through there but there we go that's perfect and then um, I'm just going to go down this edge and straighten this edge up as well, just a little. So, so again, just use my ruler um, as a guide. And then there we go. Come on, just a few more bits. There always struggle getting that top bit right okay so there we are right put that away so we don't um 
decide to hurt ourselves with it. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this bit. Right, okay. And now what I want to do is I want to actually bind the journal. Now I'm going to actually do this with using the um, ribbon that comes with it because I think it'll be quite nice to use everything that's within the kit. So let's put my cover on. So like you say, we are to make just a basic journal, so nothing fancy. Um, oh, isn't that gorgeous? And then it's going to be like a proper book. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad Julia made me an 8x8 card. Um, and if I have to suffer, a, you know, <laughs> suffer. I'm not really going to be suffering, am I? But if I have to suffer a um, challenge, um, an extra challenge, then that's fine. But I was thinking of doing it like that. But you know what I might do? Um, I might bring in my stapler if I know where I put it. So I have a long arm stapler. Um, but finding it in my craft room can be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, I've been meaning to sort out this craft room for so long. I've half done it. Um, yeah, half done it. Um, I, I still need to do quite a bit, but... Right, it looks like we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way because I was going to cheat, but no, we're going to do the old-fashioned way. Um, so if you have a long arm stapler, then use that because honestly, it's really cool. So I'm going to put in three holes. Um, so one at the top, one in the middle, and I'm just eyeballing this, and one at the bottom. And I'm going to leave my stick in the middle one. I'm going to grab some needles. Okay, so, um, and I want a needle big enough that will fit in my ribbon. There's one. If I can grab it. There it is. Right, and then I'm going to grab the ribbon. Like so and what we're going to do we're going to start off um at the well yeah this is the top so i'm going to go in through the top through and um, you like from the middle to the outside take my little pokey tool out and then we're going to go through the middle and then i'm going to go in uh the top the bottom hole and come in um, the middle hole again so we're just gonna do that and then once we come through this center hole like so we're then just gonna tie in a knot um, and that will secure our um, journal in place so yeah really really easy um, well, not as easy as using your stapler, but still easy. <laughs> I love using my stapler when I can find it. It is in here somewhere. Um, like I say, I'm slowly, very, very slowly. I seem to have done loads of work on my room and then I just stopped. Um, I, kept, I keep getting distracted every time I'm in here. So, okay, I'm just going to cut those off. So that is my basic journal all done. So I think the first thing I want to do is I want to actually decorate up my um, cover but very quickly before we do that I'm going to put this absolutely gorgeous um, journaling card that Julia made me um, with my little quote to give me a smile on um, so I'm just going to pop that in there so that's where it needs to be um, we'll deal with the two journaling cards in a minute the journaling cards can be any size that we want now in the um, our um, instructions we can use white gesso, a teaser gouache, black pen and souffle so I think I'm going to do mixed media tags uh, journaling cards I think that will be so much better um, but for the front cover I'm because Julie has just has done such a beautiful job I really don't want to do much more to it the only thing I see I don't really want to get rid of those dangles either actually that works perfectly. I think <laughs> I literally am just going to add one embellishment to our piece. Um, 
I don't think I want to sort of add anything else to it. Um, she has also made these, which, I mean, these will go on, that which are gorgeous. I mean, I love this one. This one I would have liked, I think, on the front cover. Um, but, yeah, I think a journaling card. This one's just beautiful. I love that lace. I mean, Julie was telling me she struggles with lace and, and using it. But, yeah, when you look at these, they're fab. And they look absolutely gorgeous. So, Julia, you need to use lace more, honey. You do an amazing job. So, I'm going to stick the, this on. Um, and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue for it. I think it should be, well, actually, I'll just use the art glitter glue for the centre. And then I'm going to come in with my fabric tack for around the lace so that I know that this isn't going to, um, to lift up at all. So, um, yeah, I hate working with the fabric tack, but I must admit it is a really, really good glue. Um, and it really does help stick. So... I hope this counts as me decorating my front cover, <laughs> literally sticking one element on. Basically, Julia, you you <laughs> you've decorated my whole front cover, um, but does it look gorgeous? Right, I'm just wiping that lid off because that lid was really really tacky. And let's put that on so it doesn't dry up. Um, oh, I can't add any glossy accents, so I'll tell you what we can add. Um, we can add in some of our um, sparkles, our souffle. So I might use some of the souffle. Right, I've got, I don't want the red one. I've got a couple of the pinks. I've got the rose quartz and I've actually got um, this pink souffle, which is uh, the limited edition love one. Um, I've got opal, which I use a lot. Um, I'm just having a look. Um, or I've got diamond. Right, do you know what? I'm going to keep these three out because I think these are the ones I'm going to use. But I'd like to use some on the front cover just to sparkle it up. Oh, look at that yumminess. It looks so gorgeous. Right, and this time, normally I use a spatula, but I'm actually going to use a brush. So let's use a brush on this. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some sparkles along here so then at least I've done something to my cover um, and who doesn't love a bit of sparkle so yeah absolutely love these pastes I know Julie's the same um, she's sort of yeah a bit addicted to them just as much as I am and then I think oh don't, where else can I put lots of this yumminess I think up in this corner actually so I'm just going to put a load in the corner um, and have that sort of coming out because, you know, I think we, we need glitter. Um, and I feel like I've done a little bit more to my cover than what, um, what was needed really. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do. Um, so... Yeah, I feel like I've got the uh, the best part, um, so I've got the easier of the two. <laughs> so I just hope uh, Julia can work with um, what I have created. Right, I'm just sort of um, shaping this just a little bit more because I like it sort of as if it's yeah fading out. There we go. Oh, I like that. Right, so when that dries, that's going to be super, super sparkly. So thank you so much, Julia. My front cover looks beautiful. <laughs> mean. Right, okay, so um, I haven't put that we can use any extra goodies like um, cardboard or anything. So let's grab, I've got some bits of paper. So I need to do two journaling cards. Um, oh, actually, I think... I'm going to do this one. And do you know what? I'm going to have ripped edges. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let's have some ripped edges um, journaling cards. So this is not... Well, that's going to be my first one. Um, I might use those for the pockets. Oh, I've got this one. Um, I suppose I could have quite big journaling cards. Um, 
but yeah no let's stick with these because we've only got small embellishments so um right what can i do to them so we can use our white gesso a teaser gouache black pen and souffle definitely going to be using the souffle so yeah right okay i'm gonna get rid of those bits um keep that a bit once i know once the journal is dry we'll be putting in our pockets um so i'm gonna grab out um i need to grab out my gouache so they're just in this drawer okay and my white gesso is literally just off to the side of me Okay, so let's grab that. So the first thing that I want to do is let's get some gesso down um, paintbrushes. So I'm just going to grab a couple. Right. And then for, I thought, do you know what I think I'm going to do first before we sort of start? Um, I think to make these stronger, I might back them onto some more of the card um, just because I think that yeah it might be might oh actually do you know what i quite like that so let's get that stuck down so i'm going to sort of layer up um card bits just to make these stronger um so i'm going to glue this down because actually i think this looks quite nice so it sort of gives us a start i want to add some color on and but i think i'm going to do where you sort of put the color on the um, so do some smushing is it smushing that's the term I like the term smushing so yeah um, sort of oh like that so let's add this on I'm just sort of right now I'm going through all the, like the scrap bits of paper and stuff and just building up our tag well, our journaling card, the first one anyway. Let's move that one out of the way. Let's work with just this one. Um, what else do we have? Hmm. What else? We have lots of other bits. I think that might be it. So let me just get a layer of gesso on. And I'm not looking for like full coverage here. I'm just looking for a little bit of coverage okay so just like that yeah I'm super excited to see what um, Julia is going to do because like I say I mean um, her card's going to be smaller so she all she has to do is literally put an envelope in a journal and pop that in but I want to see what she does with my um, embellishments as well so I want to see how she does her um, her cover to her journal and how she, yeah I think uh, her journal's going to look awesome um, really really awesome so yeah very interested to see what um, what she comes up with right I'm going to do let's have a look Oh, I've got this one. So, because I quite, I'm quite liking, um, I'm liking the idea of having sort of a different colour on the background. So I'm just going to go around and tear it because I also like the torn look. Um, and I, yeah. So I don't know how. Oh, yeah, I like that. So that looks nice uh, just working out yeah I really like that so let's stick that together okay um, and then do I want to add anything else before we add any colors that is the question um, no I don't know don't think so I think if I'm adding it I'm just adding it for the sake of adding it so I think I'm going to leave it as that um, because I think we can do a lot with just doodling and adding um, a little bit of colour so I think that's what we're going to do so I'm just going to knock this back and blend those edges in together um, so 
just like that. And the good thing about um, the 13 ounce gesso is it dries super, super quick. So I have got more on order, which I'm chuffed a bit about because my tub is nearly empty. I do have a spare one, but um, I don't like to not have spare in the drawer, so I have ordered. Right, okay, so, oh, I've got a brush in there, I don't want a brush in there, uh, not a brush, a uh, bristle. Right, loving that. And now I might come in with my gesso in a bit um, to add some splashes, because I think that would be quite nice. Although I could use my, um, my gouache paints to and in splatters, can't I? Hmm. I'm wishing I put on um, a stencil actually. I'm thinking how nice it would have been to add a, st a stencil, like add the um, the souffles through stenciling. Oh well, never mind. Right, okay. Nothing I can do about that. And then I'm thinking I should have added Nouveau Drops as well because when I was watching Don and Julia Creates, um, the last one, uh, when we did our first part for this one, Ooh, what colours do I want? Oh, a bit of this. Um, so yeah, when I was watching that, um, Julia also wished that she had new wall drops. So yeah, and I don't know why I didn't say that we could have new new wall drops in this. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Um, just putting water in a few colours that I think I might like and. Um, do you know what, I'm going to put some in that black because I think black splatters might be the way forward. So I just want to activate these. I think I've put a bit too much water in this one but never mind. Just take some of that water out. Oh, it's all dropping down. But I'm thinking if we can pop some colour on, like just do a little bit of different colours. I think that will really, really help. And I'm definitely liking this pink. But I like the idea of us just doing smushing instead of um, actually putting it on with the paintbrush. So we do it in layers. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, so I've just put some on my desk. Let me just move that off to the side a second, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to grab these. I'm just going to smush them in. So just like that. See, how nice is that? And then with what's left, I'm just going to add this one as well. And then what we'll do is I'll get them dry. And I think I'll do another layer of that colour because I think that colour is gorgeous. So, right, um, um, I'll go off camera and dry them and then I'll be back. Okay, so they're dry. So what I'm going to do, because like I said, I really like that colour, is I'm going to put some more of the colour onto our mat. Um, and we're going to do some more smushing with it. I wanted to say that's the word, but yeah. Oh, I like that. I really like how it looks. So, I mean, isn't that just lovely? Because you have not, you, well, you have a little control. You don't have much control, I would say, over um, smushing. But you can sort of get the colour um, relatively in the place that you want. But I just think you get such a lovely, um, a lovely sort of effect with it. I don't do it, ha like, nearly as much as what um, I'd like to. Right, let's wipe that up because I think that is probably all I want. Now, um, I'm thinking, let me move my embellishments because I really don't want anything to happen to these. Because what I'm thinking of doing is just adding some black splatters now um, to them. Um, I was going to add more colours. I was going to add like some pearlized colours, but actually I don't think I want to. So, yeah. Um, the gouache paints really, um, I put them in just in case we wanted to do, well, anything with them really. Although I do have gold, but yeah, I'm just going to pop my splatters on, like so. Oh, liking it. Right, 
so there's them so I like that I'm wondering whether to add some gold splatters in that would look really nice wouldn't it hmm to add or not to add that is the question right um do you know what I can't hurt can it so let's um activate my gold up actually now I'm gonna do um, might do bronze instead so let's just activate that up let me bring this and I think um, the bronze one, this one is definitely going to look so much nicer. So that's the one that um, I'm going to bring in. I really need to activate that up so that, yeah, it looks gorgeous. Um, so it's like a really, really nice, um, like loads of pigment in it. So the more you activate, the more pigment you get. I feel like this is dark, I think. Oh, there we go. And then everything fell down. Right. Okay. So let's add. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I like that. Right. Brill. I'm loving that. I'm loving um, how it's looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these dry. Um, and then we'll come in with the souffle and add our embellishment. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I am back. We're all done. They're looking gorgeous. So for the souffle, because I have to add some souffle on, I'm trying to decide whether to go with diamond or whether to go with rose, rose quartz. Hmm. Which one shall I do? Oh, actually, why don't we just do one of each? one of each i think right and i am gonna come in with my spatula for this because I, I just love using my spatula when i'm um, using uh the souffles so i'm just gonna sort of put it down in this corner along the bottom there oh, i love that is gonna look absolutely gorgeous when it's um all nicely dry and then um where's my rag just to so we don't mix. I need to get some new rugs actually. They're about to, yeah. This one I haven't used, I don't think. Well, it looks like I maybe used it a tiny bit. So, and then I'm just gonna do the same. Um, yeah. So, except I'm gonna come down the whole of this side, like so, and across the top. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, do you know what? Let's spread it all the way around and let's have it so that it's, yeah, and it frames it. So I think that'll be nice. Right, so I need to wait for this to dry. Um, I should have really put it on last, but if I wanted to do doodling on, but I'm thinking, do I want to do doodling? Um, I don't think I do, actually. I think I'm liking what I'm seeing, so... Just clean off my spatula and put that away. Right, I'm loving them. So let me bring back my embellishments that our lovely Julie has made me. And see, this one straight away I want on there. So definitely. And then, I love this little baby one. I think I'm quite liking it like that. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to? So... What I'm going to do is glue these straight down so and the, it'll also, the uh, souffle will help keep it um, in place as well. So plenty of glue on. So I want that in the bottom corner. I've just noticed on this little baby one, Julia's not done any doodling. I am well impressed. Well impressed. Um, as if as many of you know our Julia always does doodling and she is amazing at it oh look at that I love that how gorgeous does that look I love it and you know what I think I'm going to do the same because I really want to include both of them so um, hmm. I don't know I don't think they both fit on Right, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might stick that on the pocket actually so that it's still incorporated in. 
Yeah. Because, um, I mean, we don't have to use them all. I haven't said that we have to use um, them all, but, yeah. But I, I can't sort of, yeah, see how. Unless, actually, do you know what? I'm going to pop that on the back as a little tuck. So, yeah. And then we can just pop something in when we come to use our journal. Right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's move these off to the side. I started drying on that corner. It looks so sparkly. Um, so let's, I'm going to move these off to the side to dry so they're out of the way. Um, let me get rid of my paints because they're sort of in the way as well. Um, okay, now I've still got quite a bit left of this um, but I can't see um, me using any more of it although I do need to, to use some for pockets so I think I'll use those two sheets um, and then I think the rest of it I'll put back in its bag um, and then it's ready to use whenever I want to I might do like um, a scrap video although this is more or less this bag's more or less broken but that's fine look at this making a mess and I've just had a little lady join me. So Lucy's got up for her breakfast. So Lady's gone and sat with her because she thinks there might be food on the go. Oh, look, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that glitter? How oh, gorgeous is that? So, so nice. Right. Okay. Um, I'm just going to move those out of the way and that. Right, let's go through. So I'm thinking these pages is where I'm going to have my pockets. So the ones, the, the full page ones. So these ones, I think, is where I want to have my pockets. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prep them ready for if I want any, like if I want to do anything with them. So I am going to come in with my white gesso and paint this so that like I say it's prepped for um, if I do any journal pages in it because um, even if you put a pocket in you can still do a journal page on it um, it just all adds to it okay so like I said just prepping it because this isn't the best of uh, surfaces anyway in which to work on um, and it doesn't look particularly pretty either. So, um, and it's a good way as well to prep um, your journals as well. So if you if you were to use like I don't know, for instance, a uh, um, old book or an old magazine to do your journaling in, just putting a coat of gesso over all the pages will make a massive difference um, because it'll give you it's the start of a, like a blank canvas. Uh, so yeah. Definitely, Gesso is definitely your best friend in mixed media. Okay. See, I mean, that looks so much better already, doesn't it? Um, so, I mean, we have this one as well. So I'm just going to lightly move that over. Um, and then I think what I'll do is I'll come in with my um, heat tool and blast these dry. And then we'll pop on our... Um, what do you call it our pockets we're ready for our tags to go in so and then when everything's dry I'll come back and we'll have a flip through of our journal and a look at our tags all nice and dry so yeah oh, so nice I love doing this I, lo I just love painting with gesso I love like sort of um, how it gives you a fresh canvas, a blank canvas, just to go and sort of then turn it into your own or how it turns junk into something that um, is going to end up looking amazing. Yeah. Right. So lots and lots. Now the page will curl, but I'm not worried about that at all. Um, 
yeah really don't it doesn't um, I don't mind right so there's that one and then we have this one which is slightly got stuck to that page um, so I'm going to blast these two dry I'm probably going to give them both another coat each and then once I've done that we'll come back um, and we'll add our pockets on so um, like I said um, yeah so um, add more gesso and blast it dry and then we'll do our pockets so I'll be back in a second okay so I'm back right what I've done I've actually ran out of my gesso no I do have other gesso so it's fine um I have actually put gesso over all of those you know the front and the back page um so they now have a gesso on um ready um for me to use and to do whatever I do um I did it mainly in case Julia said no gesso but I have I don't think Julia had ever said no gesso um when it comes to art journaling so um which is good but then I might say no gesso so as you can see they're they are painted white ready to go so the very last thing for me to do is to actually put in some pockets for our tags I mean there's our journaling cards um absolutely gorgeous I mean this is actually a tuck spot so we do need to um Julia also she sent this with her um embellishments were in this so I'm gonna pop this in and I'm gonna pop it in with my envelope because I really like that so um yeah and I can put like little bits and pieces in it so nothing will go to waste um let's have a look i'm thinking because this hasn't gone very well that i'm going to actually use this as my pocket um i think i'm going to do that side so this one's going to be my first pocket um and i'm going to use it for this one i think so yeah um now what i'm going to do is cut this down so I wanted it about there, so I'm just slightly tearing at it um, so that I know where I want it. Now, I never said that we could have a whole, um, a circle punch, which is a bit silly because that would have been good for a thumb hole. Um, but as I haven't done that, let's cut one in. Um, I'm dropping everything today. So I'm just going to cut one in myself, which isn't going to be perfect, but you know it's completely fine there oh doesn't that look fine that looks good right okay so let's grab my glue oh, oh sorry about that I've just my my cable cards like literally there and when I pick my glue off, off my shelf um, I knocked it so I do apologize for that and if I made any of you feel a bit uh, queasy oh I can't believe that happened but yeah um so yeah just sticking that on there so there's my first pocket um do i want to add anything onto my pocket out of the kit um ooh. what about do you know what i'm thinking um so as that one's magic dreams i'm gonna have that just there so make it magic your own so i'm just going to get rid of these tabs um and i'm wondering whether i have this as a tuck spot actually i don't know why i've decided that i'm going to cut around it you um, honestly one day i will let things go right so i'm wondering whether to stick it there but actually just sort of stick along there and there and then we've got another tuck spot I think so so that's what I'm going to do so just that bit and just that bit um make sure that I've got it right okay so there's that one and inside that pocket is that um journaling card how nice is that and then we can use that as a tuck if we want to so i just need the glue to adhere on that so there's that one um and then i think on this one we'll have the other one and i'm going to keep the pockets the same um except we'll have that one over here so um again i'm going to cut a little thumb hole out myself so let's glue this down and then I think we can 
safely say we're done. And then I do want to have another one of those things. So I'm going to have, actually, do you know what I'm going to have? Just the unicorn head. And I'm not going to have it as a tuck spot. I think we'll just have it as a decoration. And then the rest of the page is ready to be journaled on as and when. Um, yeah, when I do it. So even though it has a pocket on, there's nothing to say we can't take the journaling tag out and really um, go for it on this page. So I'm making sure not to pop my glue all over because um, I can end up gluing up that pocket and I don't want to do that. So, okay, so there's that on there. And then this one will just sit in there. Like so. So there you have it. So that is my Dawn and Juliet Creates all done for this week. Um, I'm super looking forward to the next challenge. I already have it and I cannot wait to get started on that one. So that is so definitely something to look forward to. Um, I just have to think of my next challenge for Julia and I. So I'm sure I can think of something really fun. Um, but I'm yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So I quickly, um, before we do, I did bring in my black pen, but um, I don't think I'm going to use it. Um, I think thought about if I was going to use it, I was thinking of maybe on the pockets, but I'm going to leave it because then when I come to journal on those pages, I can um, do it. So this is my front cover that our lovely Julia has created for me. And then inside we've made our pages bigger by adding extra paper on. Um, I've covered up the covers so they're ready to go. Got the envelope, which was part of the thing. The only difference is, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up on the naughty step. Hope and Julia will forgive me because I have put my quote in this envelope. So, yeah, um, more pages. There's my pocket with my first journaling card in, which I absolutely love. And then, again, painted up that. Um, they just look really, really good, don't they? Um, and then here's our second pocket again with our second journaling card. So um, I'm going to have to put a bit more glue on that, I think. Um, and yeah, lots of pages. We do have this bit. Oh, do you know what we'll do before we go? Why not? Let's add this on to make an extra page because it's just a waste otherwise, isn't it? So. Let's pop some glue on. Um, and this is why having a run through your journal is a good idea um, because, you know, there might be something that you missed. Um, but there you go. And then what we'll do is using this page, yeah, I'm going to cut it down. So I'll cut it down here. So it's the same size, okay, and then using this page, <laughs> because it makes life easier to get at, um, I'm just going to cut along this way. So it just gives me that extra page for journaling, oh, if we can actually get it straight, so yeah. So there we go. We have an extra page there for journaling and it matches up quite nicely with this one. Um, so there you are. That is my um, journal made um, for Dawn and Julie Creates this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do go over to our lovely Julie and check hers out because she'll have smashed this. She is an amazing journaler. Um, I have to admit that I'm not the... <laughs> my journaling isn't as good as hers. Um, I mean, there's no competition or anything, but she just makes the most amazing journal pages ever so please do check her out because you just know she's going to produce something absolutely fantastic um i will leave it there thank you so much for watching um very quickly do consider subscribing if you're not already subscribing and also please do consider subscribing to our lovely julia as well if you're not already subscribed to her but i will see you in another video very very soon but until then happy crafting bye